What's up my popsters? Welcome to my first ever Funko Pop video. Today I will be unboxing two kinds of ones just a singular pop, one's a Disney Pop Christmas box, which has a couple different things into it, so let's get started. First, I'm going to start off with the singular pop. It is a part of the Toy Story set. I have the whole set except for the exclusive ones that I've been looking at. They're a little expensive, but I found this one on Amazon. I think I remember what it is. So. Aha! It's Benson from Toy Story 4. He is a fall 2019 um, convention exclusive. It's a really nice figure. It's a little creepy if you have it for display, but a really, really nice figure. Alright, so now we're going to get into the Disney um, Christmas box from Funko for this year. It, it's the Amazon exclusive one which I've kind of been holding off on, but I had to get it because it's, you know, 18 days till Christmas, so uh, let's open it. Okay, so let's start with the pins. We have four pins. They are licensed um, Disney pins, which is nice. First, we have Goofy um, After him, we have Mickey Donald, which is probably my favorite one out of these and Minnie These are really nice ones to add to my pin collection um, they roughly run, like, probably, like, five to eight dollars, which, I mean, isn't bad for pop, pop pins. Next in this box, we have these Mickey and, yeah, Mickey Christmas socks. They're really nice because they got some, uh, of the actual, like, head of Mickey, some presents, and like I said, everything in this is Disney licensed. So it has the little Disney copyright logo and everything. Really nice quality. Um, they're probably too big to fit my feet. So I'll probably give them to uh, one of my sisters or my mom. But really, really nice quality. They're nice, soft, not too... Uh, not too like not too soft to like make your feet sweat but they're like like cozy socks kind of next i'm going to get into my the pop pez that came with it um these two are part of the set but they're they're already made into pops so they made them into pop pez if that makes sense i don't know if it does but here's winnie the pooh which goes with this pop and then we have piglet which goes with the piglet pop that I don't have on my shelf right now but these two are really nice they're very clean they come with assorted fruit pe pez dispenser candy stuff Really nice, honestly. I think these are probably one of the best Pez they've made. Okay, it is now pop time. So, there are two pops in this box, which is nice for a $30 uh, box. I think with these two pops, the four pins, the socks, and the Pez, you're making your money back easily. These two are Pluto. Which I'm not going to take out of the box because these are really nice ones. I don't want to ruin the box. And Mickey. 
Mickey is ice skating, which in the which in the regular set he is Santa Claus, which is honestly really nice. Two really nice figures right there. One's Amazon exclusive. One's just a regular one that you can find basically anywhere, like any pop stores that you know of that sell pops. And then we have Pluto. Pluto, really nice one. He's got some lights strung around him. Very happy that he has a candy cane, which tis the season. And they have not made a uh, Christmas Pluto for this set before until they made this one. Which, honestly, it's really good for $30. These are probably 10 bucks each, 20 bucks right there. These are probably eight bucks, 16 right there. You already made your money back. This pop talk is going to be an ongoing video segment that I would like to do because it's like something that is really close to my heart as you can see. And like, I just really like talking about my pop collection, how much it's worth, how many I have. And if you want to see like me do like a Star Wars um, video talking about what I have, Toy Story, we could do Mandalorian too, um, like the video and comment in the comment section, uh, Star Wars Collection, and I will work on making a video for that. But, that's it here, have a nice day Popsters, thanks for watching.